Traditional power switches using silicon MOSFET technology have limitations when switching at high voltage due to inherent losses associated with device structure. Although many advances have been made over recent decades, to achieve highest efficiencies and fast switching operation using silicon MOSFETs, power topologies utilizing zero voltage switching or zero current switching have been developed and are widely used. However, the use of power switches made from the wide band gap materials of gallium nitride and silicon carbide reduce the inherent losses when switching directly from high voltages and offer new possibilities for power topologies. The so-called bridgeless totem pole PFC is one such power topology receiving interest for use in high power systems. In this PFC configuration, a single half bridge of active switches using either GAN hemps or silicon carbide MOSFETs supports high voltage switch operation with minimal losses. 99% peak efficiency is achieved switching directly from AC mains voltage. However, achieving good operation when using wide band gap devices, switching at high voltage, depends significantly on the device packaging, driver and PCB layout. The Centre of Excellence team at Future Electronics have designed and trialled multiple half-bridge active switch configurations for the bridgeless totem pole PFC topology using Future Electronics modular Gandalf evaluation board. This short film introduces the modular Gandalf evaluation board, which enables customers to assess and develop high efficiency power factor correction using wide band gap, GAN or silicon carbide devices. Today we would like to introduce the Gandalf board from Future Electronics. This is a flexible, modular, high efficiency power factor correction evaluation board which uses either GAN FETs or silicon carbide MOSFETs. The solution is formed of four separate boards. The main power board containing boost inductor, input filtering, output capacitors and analog signal chain components. A half bridge card which is, the, is connector fitted and can be swapped housing either GAN FETs or silicon carbide MOSFETs plus isolated drivers and isolated DC to DC power supplies. A plug-in card for the digital controller and a fourth card for the auxiliary power supply. High efficiency is achieved with the minimum number of switches by using the bridgeless totem pole topology operating in continuous conduction mode. 99% efficiency is enabled by the very low switching losses of gallium nitride FETs and synchronous switching of the AC mains using two silicon superjunction MOSFETs. With silicon carbide MOSFETs as the active switches replacing the GAN FETs, similar performing operation can be achieved with slightly lower efficiency. Gandalf provides a flexible platform to assess different wide band gap devices in the bridgeless totem pole power factor correction topology directly with several different types of half-bridge cards available to customers. Furthermore, with the alteration of a handful of resistor values in the signal chain, Gandalf can be configured to operate down to 25 volts AC input, allowing software development within a safe, low voltage environment. The setup on the bench here shows Gandalf running with AC mains input. The half-bridge card used has topside cooled GAN from Infineon. The bench AC mains supply runs through an isolation transformer and a variac before being input to the Gandalf board. VAC input is 220 volts RMS. A power analyzer is used to monitor the quality of the input waveforms and the oscilloscope is used to show the VAC input and the input current AC waveform. A resistive load of 2 kilowatts is used. For safety reasons, Gandalf would normally be operated inside a closed box. However, for the purposes of filming, the cover has been removed. The blue trace shows the input AC current waveform, and the yellow trace shows the input voltage AC waveform. Please note, this is the voltage of the AC mains, and is therefore not purely sinusoidal. The distortion on the input current waveform at the zero crossover is expected and is due to the fact that switching must stop in this region and restart just after the zero crossover point. The power analyzer is measuring power factor and total harmonic distortion of the input current. Power factor is measured at 0.994 
and total harmonic distortion is around 4.3 percent. Finally we show the harmonics distribution. You will see that we do not see any spikes above the fundamental harmonic. The multimeters record the output voltage and the output current. So output voltage, output current. The readings taken provide an efficiency measurement of 98.5% and you will see that the output voltage is regulated at close to 400 volts DC. The thermocouple shows that the case temperature for the gallium nitride is reaching 71 degrees C under these operating conditions after running for 30 minutes. Now we will power down the stage and swap the gallium nitride FETs with a half bridge card housing silicon carbide MOSFETs. These are 650 volt, 4 lead, TO247 packaged, 72 milliohm silicon carbide MOSFETs from Infineon. Here we have Gandalf reconfigured with the silicon carbide MOSFETs from Infineon. The board has been running for about half an hour to reach a steady temperature. Using silicon carbide MOSFETs on Gandalf, the waveforms and the overall performance is similar to when using GANFETs. On the oscilloscope, you will see input current looking very similar using silicon carbide MOSFETs compared with Gandalf running with GANFETs. Total harmonic distortion and power factor values are also very similar using the silicon carbide MOSFETs. With the silicon carbide MOSFETs, total harmonic distortion is 4.3% and power factor is 0.994. Case temperature is lower than when running with the GANFETs. Here you can see with silicon carbide MOSFETs, the case temperature is 83 degrees C. Overall efficiency using the silicon carbide MOSFETs is slightly lower than using the GAN FETs and here we see an efficiency of 98.2%. Hopefully this short demonstration has shown you the benefits of Gandalf and its flexibility to be used in assessing different devices for the bridgeless totem pole power factor correction topology.